Okay, um, now we're going to start assembling the lubrication system. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to install the oil filter adapter. What we've got is we've got our gasket here. Um, it's going to go right here. Then we've got our oil filter. Uh, oil filter adapter itself, it's going to go right here. And then we're going to put the bolts in. Um, I've gone ahead and put sealant on these bolts. Uh, you need sealant on them for this application. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, install these. If I can get everything to line up right. And um, then what we're going to do is we're going to torque them down to 12 Newton meters. Now, out of on just kind of a comment here, you're going to be able to torque this one but you're not going to be able to torque the one on the bottom with a torque with traditional torque wrench because the filter is in the, the adapter itself is in the way. So you're just going to have to use um, a half inch wrench uh, to do this. What I do is, you know, just basically set up my set up my torque wrench, torque down this one, and then once I've torqued it down, I kind of have a feel of how much pressure it is, and I go ahead and do the bottom one. Uh, if somebody wants to share with me a way to do this bottom one without um, with a traditional torque wrench, you're more than welcome to. Um, that's something I don't know how to do. Uh, it seems to work just fine. But um, 12 Newton meters is the torque value, so we'll go ahead and torque these down, and uh, then we'll move on to the oil pump and the oil base. Okay, um, next part of the lubrication system is we're going to go ahead and install the um, the oil pan. Now, in the case of the V43 engines, the oil fill tube is actually stamped into the pan. Um, so we're having to kind of, you have to work around that oil fill tube being there. It's not like the, the P218s where the oil fill tube is, uh, it's just held into the pan with a gasket. So basically what I've got is I've already got my gasket and I've got two of my oil pan bolts onto the, um, into the, the oil pan itself. We're just going to line it up just like this and kind of gently press it on there. Um, helps when you move everything out of the way and uh, we're just going to gently press this on here and then we're going to take and lightly screw these down uh, these are I think 9 sixteenths inch bolts I don't think they're half inch but and then we're going to go ahead and take and get the other two put some thread sealing on them for good measure stick those in the bottom get them all lined up Sometimes this takes a little bit of work getting them all lined up. And then once we do that, we're going to torque them to uh, 27 Newton meters. And then uh, we're going to be good to go. So, and then we're going to put the oil pump in. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and torque them down and then we'll put the oil pump in. Okay, uh, last part of the lubrication system that we're going to install is the oil pump. And this is the oil pump that we uh, put the new gasket in last, uh, last time we worked on this. And so basically, get the oil pump in, we want to turn, and we've got the, you can see where the engine, the pistons are set. Basically, it's all done based on the crankshaft. And you can basically just slide it in, kind of rotate it around, slide it in. And as you slide it in, it's basically going to want to rotate around and then you can get it lined up with the uh, crank gear and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come in here and uh, put our two screws in or two bolts and hold it in right here and then down lower and then those need to be tightened to 11 newton meters and once those are tightened to 11 newton meters we're done with the lubrication system um, we can start putting valve uh, covers on and uh, heads on and start reassembling the outside of the engine.